go in the Starbucks. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hurry up, please. You're, you're holding up traffic. Get out the way. Damn, milk truck. The lady, the lady at Starbucks said, oh, it's back to school today. I was like, okay. Kids need, kids need um, coffee. Kids need coffee. Okay. I got. I went back in the house and got my um, sugar-free caramel. <laughs> so put that in there as well. Now I'm ready. So pretty much what I got at Starbucks was a double shot of espresso over ice, venti cup. Um, I'm gonna mix my protein shake with it. It was raining last night apparently and it smells so good. I love the, the smell of uh, when the ground is wet from rain. almost got concerned because I forgot that where I was for a moment <laughs> I forgot where I was for a moment I saw let me tell y'all I am losing it I'm at the exit for my job okay but I used to go down this street because I didn't used to live very far from here I used to live like some way from here but not very far from here so this was the only freeway exit entrance to get on the freeway from my house right so when I used to drive my son to school because we we didn't go to school or live here we lit I mean we didn't go to school or work here but we lived here so I would get on the freeway to take him to school and me go to work for a moment I thought that I was like got off on the wrong wrong exit like I needed to get to the exit to get him to school because I saw that traffic for school like it literally came back to me like you're on you're on you're on the wrong off you on the wrong off ramp girl Ooh, I'm glad them days is over. Let me tell you something. Rushing your child to school, rushing to work is not fun. 
especially because me and my son did not compete. Um, when I moved over here, I wanted to keep him in the same school district that he was going to because when I was growing up, my mom moved, we moved a lot. So I never grew up like, you know how you have friends from like kindergarten, elementary. I don't have that. Like we moved so much. I don't have like friends that I built like from those. I have friends that I'm not even gonna say they friend like associates that I still talk to from high school, but like friends that I've known because I know people that have known some of their friends since like first grade. I don't have that, so I didn't want to take that from my son. So I left him in the school district that he was in, even though we lived, you know, in a whole d different city. And I would just, but I worked over there, so it wasn't a big deal. But let me tell you something. The, the stress of it all to wake up timely to get out the house by a certain time to get him to school by a certain time then to get myself to work is a whole situation mothers out there you know what i'm talking about single mothers you even know what i'm really talking about okay we do it all but for a moment i thought that i was back there and i was like oh shoot i'm at the wrong exit nature of those days is long gone big girl and i'm so happy about it You know, you see somebody's car at work and you be like, oh man, I thought they wasn't going to be here. Oh. Why this person parked like that? Are you freaking crazy? friend talking about fillers <laughs> I need fillers I need lip fillers on the top lip I want to I think I've talked to you guys about this before in my um 
my under eyes they've always been deep set i think they're just looking you know worse as i age um they're not bad but i just want them i want the deep set eyes i had it 25 not the deep set eyes i have at 44 you know let me, know let me go back 20 years anyway so we're talking about fillers and it's 750 a syringe and i was like oh that's bad not bad and i was like wait how many syringes do you need and then she was like one to three what And I said, that's just recommended. You never know how many you really need. I'm not trying to buy three syringes just off top. And then with the rest, what am I going to do with the rest? Let me tell you something. When me and one of my close friends, we're literally like, okay, we're, I, I'm like focusing on me. Like if anything happens in regards to men, then, you know, it just happens. But not really focusing on that right now. So tell a long story short without telling all her business. She, she met somebody. But she's like, almost like, uh, who sent you type of situation. Like, are you real? And I'm like, girl, you got to go with the flow. Like, yeah, we don't want to think that everybody is janky. And you pray that they aren't janky. But you won't know unless you put yourself out there. You know what I mean? Oh, this is what I'm trying to say. So... I work in social services so pretty much what I do is I long long explanation short is I assist help customers we used to call them clients now they are called customers I assist help them find employment better themselves go to school to better themselves so they can get off of cash aid cash assistance because the people that I help have children and they receive cash aid food stamps all that stuff so um, I'm there or we're there to help the customers that are receiving those programs or that particular program the cash aid aspect of it find jobs to come become self-sufficient pretty much we want them off aid it can be mentally draining at times because um you know you have people that will call and you know you, 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 you get to know your customers like you have some people that come in and they want to get right off those are my type of people you know you got responsibilities and bills and kids to take care of you in and you out you come and do what needs to be done and you're done and you have people that don't want to i'm gonna be just real honest they don't want to work right now at the moment maybe in a year or two three but right now no and i'm not even talking about pandemic right now just like at the moment they don't want to do it they rather just chill it's low-key being a, a, almost like you're, you're alive i i feel like i could be a therapist a counselor an older sister a aunt, all of those to these people depending if they want to receive it everybody's not receiving it and i am very how do you say it blunt but i'm real and i'm not gonna be disrespectful but i'm gonna be blunt with you and i'm gonna tell you the truth People are not ready for it, and if they aren't, then they just aren't. And they got the training, the new people that have been coming in. But that stressed me out so bad. This last class that came in, that came into our office, I told them I didn't want. So I have a caseload again. But at the beginning of the pandemic, I didn't even have a caseload. I was facilitating classes, and the classes are classes, job search classes, where we're you know giving them job leads and helping them and then we have another class that helps them tells them how to interview um tells them how to dress on interviews all of that stuff so those are the classes that i was facilitating before a pandemic but we aren't giving those classes anymore because i mean the obvious but at the end of the day this is what i say 
at the end of the day you aren't only doing this for you you are doing this for your children um, especially when they have little little small children that won't remember any of this I always say get it in and out right now while your children don't even know like what's really going on you know they don't they don't know if you're struggling or not they know nothing Get it all over and done with now. If you need to go, if you want to go to school, go to school now. Like, don't him haul about it. Real quick lunch, chicken quesadilla, a low-carb tortilla. I want to say it's Law Banderita. And then I have this queso that I need to use up. So I'm just going to dip in that. So quick lunch. Um, oh, and I cooked this in um, some ghee. So real quick, low-carb, high-fat lunch. She's over. I'm on my way back to work. I got my camera and I'm not, I'm not going back to get it. So that's all right. We will vlog from the phone, but let me put this down so I can drive and I will need you guys back at work. I literally just emailed issuance five minutes ago for the incentive payment. Why is it already journaled? That's see. That's the type I need to do. I need to work like that. I don't work like that. I take a little. I look. Take some time over here. <laughs> I, I lolly shower and I laid down and I went to sleep um so yeah that's that on that and then now it is uh, 8 25 I um got up and did a little cleaning and then um I made a burger I made a, a lettuce wrap burger like I did the other day um the only difference is it's not no it's not a portobello on here and i added a fried egg that's oh and i just put a slice of cheese instead of the feta so um it doesn't look like anything special literally a lettuce lap lettuce wrapped uh, cheeseburger so and i'm having this avocado this is the entire avocado because i didn't get enough fat in for the day so that's that that yeah you guys when i come home from work i don't know about y'all i don't when i come home when i'm done with work i'm done for the day unless it is like imperative that i go out somewhere to do something other than that i'm not going anywhere after work um because i just don't need to um sometimes if i need to make a grocery store run or um sometimes i'll go to happy hour um, or Taco Tuesday with my friends but for the most part when I get home I'm mean, gonna get off work I come home um, so yeah it's a lazy oh, sorry I'm like trying to do this with one hand so yeah I don't do too much running around after work because I'll be mentally done I just want to get home so yeah that's what I'm gonna have and then okay that's what I'm gonna have and look through these sale ads because these were in the mail yesterday. Today's Wednesday. Yesterday or Monday. And these are just, you know, the sales ads for the week. Um, so I can see who has what on sale. I used to shop like this and then go to the places that had things on sale, like as far as for real meat. But I'm gonna look through these sale ads and see what they looking like. But this is a boring um, work day in my life. So you guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here and you like um, this type of content, go ahead and consider subscribing to this channel. Check out my other videos. I do mostly vlog style videos. But you guys, I will talk to you soon.
Ay, ay, 